Oh, I better laugh because in them days there was still that racial tension that was there. You know, blacks were still going through that. You know, uh, there was a racial element within the police. So crash, I laughed, and they smashed the granny out of me. Damn. And the granny means they smashed me up. And so that was the change because for me. At that time, I said, right, that's it. Of all the people that are, are, are supposed to care for me and love me and try, are hurting me, I went, right, that's it. I'm never, ever going to let anybody put their hand on me ever again. I don't care who they are, where they come from. I don't care who they know, what they got. I don't care whether they're black, white, yellow, green, <laughs> white, fat, long, tall. <laughs> it's on. And when it's on, it's on. And that's when I joined what I call my famous group, Psychopaths Anomalous. It was off my nut. And if it moved, I hit it. That was it. That was where the change came. Okay. And what's that, 18? 18, yeah. 18, cool. So then how do you end up... So what type of stuff is going on at that point? Then? So that point, you're like, fuck it, okay. whatever. Yeah. Brilliant. Love Go on. Good, good, good presenter, this one. Good interviewer. So what happened here? I, uh, okay. So now I'm fighting everything, yeah? And fighting became my sex. Oh, I loved it. Oh, <laughs> oh mate, let's get some more. Let's get some more. I loved it. <gasps> yeah, I absolutely loved it, yeah. And if it moved, if it looked, I thought it. Yeah. And so I ended up being absolutely crazy. And, you know, I was like a psychopath, yeah. <laughs> I'm crash. I'm eating everything. Crash, crash, crash. How's your father? Blah, 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 blah. I didn't give a shit, yeah. And then, so I learned Taekwondo. I learned Liga. I learned Muay Thai. Good with the hands. But the fellow who was teaching me, CJ, who's now the boxing coach of St. Pancras, he went and got married to his Swedish bird. And so I never done my legs. <laughs> so I can hit you all right. But if you kick me in the legs, I've got no chance. <laughs> So basically, so, you're just fucking up everything. Sorry? You're just fucking up everything that you saw, basically. Yeah, it wasn't so much as fucking up everything. I just switched. I just... I wasn't having it no more. I just... That's fair you, enough. If you wanted it... Let's go there. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. it. I just... Do you understand? It makes sense after uh, all the stuff you're saying. Yeah, Eventually, I, yeah. I think if you think you're getting bullied or you think you're being disciplined too hard, then that's what happens. You... you, you Hit a snapping point yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, Because remember... You've got to remember, before I switch, you have to remember, I, when you, you say boot to a ghost, and I'd be, you know, like, I'd jump out of the way. You know, I was very shy, very frightened. You know what I mean? You've got to, you've got to remember. So, um, so what happened was, as I said to you, I became um, like a leader of the crew. Do you understand? Because I could fight now. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a bit of a reputation mm -hmm. for fighting. Um, and uh, we, we used to have a youth club. Called uh, Soulgrave in Shepherd Bush. Okay, and we had a, a car hire firm called the Magnet. Okay, and when Soulgrave was shut, we would all congregate in the uh, car hire firm. And one day, what happened was uh, a friend of ours was in real bad trouble. I mean, this story you might have heard in other interviews, but I have to say because that's the only way I can say it. This, this is what these are the questions I get asked, so I have to say it this way. And what happened was a uh, crash. Um, we, uh, we, uh, I met a guy called Mr. Stokes. Mr. Stokes came from Labrook Grove. And the Paddington and Edgware Road boys, they wanted to beat up Mr. Stokes. Mm -hmm. So, all us, everyone knew Mr. Stokes, and we all, uh, congregated. So, Latimer, Labrook Grove, Shepherd Bush, all got together, got a firm, crew, posse, whatever you want to call it. And we went up to Queensway, and you know, in them days, we was all in the Tashini, the desert boots, the Fauci, you know, it was class. But we all had doors, and I was carried because of the film Scum. Don't watch films, do not watch films. Trust How come? Me. <laughs> and Scum was the one, because you're a bit young, where he had the two pool balls in the sock. Okay. And he hit him over the head. Obviously, so we yeah. got two pool balls in the side. You get me? Oh, yeah. right, that was all. So you took that idea basically yeah, from the yeah. movie. Yeah. That's why you shouldn't watch Grand Theft Auto. Near, near. You took that literally. Yeah. yeah, yeah so he yeah, said, fuck yeah. it, you okay, you yeah, go there. Mate. It was just a good tool. And so we got up to Queen's Road and crash, as your father, as we say. What's happened is we've all got out of marching now, but we're all blown up. But it was at the time, because you're a bit young, for you younger viewers out there, 1983 was a time where 
the um, racial riots were all kicking off. So Brixton, South Hall, Tottenham. I'm not sure if Winston Silcox was in 83, it might have been. But that is where we was all kicking off, all over London. So when we got to Queensbury, one of my youngers, or youngsters, youngers, whichever way you want to do it, he smashed, yeah, how's your father? Yeah, and this is why on it. Yeah, don't ask me why he's done it, yeah. He smashed one of the windows, yeah. Jewelry in the jewelry shop, yeah. So that time it weren't like now where it's bullet fucking proof and all that and was it? What'd you say? Yeah, like literally, yeah, bulletproof. Yeah, like, uh, it, it weren't, weren't like that. It was a, so he smashed. We're all putting our hands through the grills and we're grabbing watches. And then we've gone down Queensway High Street, and we've gone to Chepstow Road, which is more or less like um, Queensway, uh, Westbourne Grove, that kind. Of, and Notting Hill is there. Mm-hmm. And so, but as we got there, Devante. Okay, as we got there, as we got there. There's about 300 old Bill lined up across the road, yeah? <laughs> so we're here, yeah? They're there. And Crash, we're just looking at each other, innit? It? it seemed like an hour. It seemed like ages, but it was most probably seconds, yeah? So I'm at the front, the crew all behind me. And I'm thinking, what we do here? Yeah, you know I mean, remember, I'm still not clued up really. Yeah, fully, street, yeah. yeah. And so one of the youngsters has gone. We made a run for him. And this policewoman crash, yeah. How's your father? She's come, yeah, to nick my mate, but you gotta remember I got beat up by two bills and I wasn't really in the game, so I've just whacked her over the head with the two pool balls. Yeah. <laughs> mate, Lordy first. That, that, that's all I've always been that way. Lordy first. I mean, now, you know, grown up and done what we've done. You know, and as I'll come on to this subject, never you never ever hurt old Bill, never hurt police, police. Man. It's the rule, it's the law, it's religion. I'll, I'll explain why later. But at that time, I was like, I'm young, naive, and all over. And so, two other policemen came to grab me, but because they saw her hit the floor, they've run different directions. You know, they, oh, must, wow. have, they must have thought I had something more Matthew, dangerous yeah. than them. So, Anyway, we've run all the way down, for those who know, from Queensway to Shepherd Bush. And we got back to the bush. But as we got to the bush, Devon, the yeah, crash, yeah. As we got back to the bush, my mate, yeah, he's had a fight with a couple of fellas before we had gone up to Queensway for this one. So he's picked up a bottle to go and do this fella who's up the road. But as he's done it, just by... Uh, Grace of luck. It's by the grace of luck. A police fan's come here. And as he's come here, they've seen him pick the box. So they've stopped, pulled over the van, yeah, grabbed him, took him in the van. All I've seen in the van shake like that. Yeah, I mate, shake, shake. And they just threw him out, didn't they? But like Superman, you know what I mean? Yeah, just threw him. Yeah, just threw him out. How's your father, brother? And he, yeah, he, oh, listen, he is moaning, yeah. Oh, like, he's going, you have this, you have you that. And I'm going, Barry, Barry, please, like, we got the watches, we got the watches. Yeah, like, yeah, if you're getting it now, yeah. we're, we're effed, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm saying, come on, come on. So then we got him away. Oh, dear. <sighs> Mate, I'll tell you, life's a funny thing, isn't it? Life is the maddest, craziest motherfucking thing. You just never ever know where it's going. And whenever things go wrong, people always blame life. But it's not life, it's people in here. <laughs> people are the maddest, crazy motherfucking thing. Like. So, and the reason I'm saying it is because we got out of this van. You just wouldn't believe it. We've already had the uh, situation in Queensway. I think the police were over there with two pulling assault. Yeah. And now, all the other boys get back. And so they decide. Now, you got to remember, I'm a law abiding citizen. You know, yeah, I, mean, really I, like I know that. it's hard to believe when you're hitting police. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> um, no, no, law abiding citizen. And uh, they've decided to rob the off license. All right. Now, as I said, I don't do all that robbing and thieving. But what's happened, yeah. As they come out, the online crash, the shopkeepers come out, oh, the really and started fighting. So there I am, right? Leader of the gang. So, and so I've grabbed the baseball bat off someone, so I've hit him over the head. So now there's two charges I've got in two ways. <laughs> in one like, day, you know. Mate, I look like an absolute psychopath, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Went from a law abiding citizen to just going on a rampage, really. 
Like 24 mate, hours? I was obviously... <laughs> well, oh, mate, Laura Biden citizen. <laughs> I must have been a Laura Biden citizen who obviously thought it was a criminal because I'll tell you what, in those two days, my life just... In that one day, my mm. life just changed. That, that is, you know, it it's mad to say, but it changed. It, you know, I didn't ever done those kind of things before. 